keys to a vehicle open doors of opportunity and elevate your quality of life. The automotive industry provides some 4 million jobs and makes 60 million cars and trucks a year. Hello everyone, I'm Estela Casas, creative brand strategist for the Viva Fiesta Auto Group family of dealerships in El Paso, Las Cruces, Albuquerque, and Santa Fe. Let's talk Viva style. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are doing well and that you're telling all your friends to tune in and uh, listen to some uh, uh, interesting conversation. We're not going to talk about all about cars. We're, we're going to learn a little bit about uh, Manny Beltran as well. So thank you all for being with us this afternoon. The lots at local dealerships all over El Paso and New Mexico and all over the country, rather, are, are full of used cars sprinkled in with um, new cars. But at the Viva Dodge store on Lee Trevino and Gateway, the lot is full with New cars. New cars new. that are rolling into El Paso. That's right. New cars, trucks, SUVs. We have them all. We're Absolutely. Blessed. New inventory is what all car dealers and managers want to hear and customers want to see when they have a, you know, a little extra money or to purchase a new car. We all like new things and people are always in the market for reliable transportation. Yes. Uh, Manny Beltran is the general manager at the Viva Dodge store and everybody is excited to see these big trucks rolling in with its brand new cars yes. and all beautiful colors. Tell me about it. Yes, we get super excited. Our whole sales stuff always comes out. They stop the truck and um, it, it's always like a, a big event, right? When every time the truck rolls in, we're just excited because we know we're blessed and we know we have this this huge opportunity in front of us and uh, we just want to we want to make sure that all Paso Las Cruces Juarez residents that could, are in the market of a vehicle just to let them know hey we're here and we have them we have them here for you your customer can make the decision of which one they would like not what they have so we have that huge huge opportunity for them so it things really are changing you know we've been talking about the shortage of the microchip shortage and uh, that's delayed the production and you know they shut down the factories and they shut yes. the production and and that meant that we didn't have new cars in our, in our lots and a lot of dealerships still don't have new cars so they get them they're they're sprinkled with four here and three there and yes. but you have 400 new vehicles yes we have 400 um you know either on the ground or incoming with just a rolling them in rolling them out and just we've, we've been blessed we had a record month last month so uh, we were proud to say that we were number one in the region. So um, not, um, we can't say that many times, but we did we did do that last month, and uh, we're just blessed for El Paso to support us that way. So I want. Uh, so what do you have available? I want to go buy a new car. I'm in the market for a new vehicle. What do you have available, you, or what will you have available? Well, we have a huge selection of um, Chargers. Those are vehicles that we have. Uh, if you're looking for an SUV, we have the brand new Grand Cherokee L. We have the Grand Cherokees. We have the Cherokee, the Compass and uh, renegades so we, we it's not just we have a oh, we have one of each no we have plenty of of every model so we're blessed okay and all different colors too yes <laughs> most definitely light dark purple gray whatever you want we whatever you want you yes. and so so what if what if you have something that what if i want something that you don't have oh easy we can uh search to see if there's a uh a, a partner that would, would be willing to trade with us or we could just simply order it for you okay. uh, the turnaround is anywhere from two months to four months just depending on if there's any backlogs for any parts or anything that that might delay it um, usually the the factory is really good about sold orders uh, they always give priority um, to their customers and uh, they 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 roll in pretty quickly so uh, how can somebody interested in purchasing a new car do before they head out to the dealership. Do we have to make an appointment? Can you uh, fill out everything uh, on online first? Yeah, most definitely. Um, our website is Viva Chrysler uh, Dodge Jeep, and you can just go there, Google us, Viva Viva Dodge, and then um, the hyperlink will pop up. Uh, we have half of our staff, over over ten salespeople, just dedicated to answer those. Uh, we call them leads, um, and within five minutes, you'll get a, a ring, text, and an email. And uh, we try to make contact as fast as possible. If for whatever reason you can't come out and you want to do your finance process, mm -hmm. we can do that also. Um, a lot of customers come in with their pre-approvals uh, either through us or through their own banks. Uh, just right now, before I left the dealership, we have a customer coming from, um, he just showed up from Carlsbad. And uh, the only thing that we were ready, uh, waiting for is just to see their trade, make sure that everything that, that was stated was, uh, was accurate and, and our vehicle is already washed, ready for delivery, gassed up. So we try to make the process as fast as possible, as seamless as possible, because... Uh, you know, th there's a stigma with car dealers like, oh, my God, it's so scary. <laughs> so we try to, you know, just be very transparent. Uh, that's the way we've been working, working for years. And uh, it's worked out for us uh, very well. So um, I want a red um, 
charger and uh, and you don't have it. We have two. We have a... There you go. Okay. I want <laughs> yes. a red charger and you have them. You have two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so we have a Tor red and then also Delmonico red. So it's basically like a maroon or like a, like a the, the fire red. Okay. So these are for women and for men. And are you getting a lot of women clients who say, you know, I, I, I want this special car. What are you seeing? What are you seeing coming into the showroom? So, so the most thing that surprised me when I got to the Dodge dealership, because I haven't been a Dodge um, 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 employee for a long time. Um, you know, I grew up with my dad only owning Fords. And then I had, when I we came, sell Fords too at Viva Ford. Yes. Viva Ford. <laughs> I had, I had the pleasure of working there for a few years also. Yeah. So, uh, just, you know, growing up, uh, working on, on cars, you know, watching my dad and that's kind of how I fell in love with vehicles. So I grew up with Fords. So when I came to Viva, when I became a, a, a new employee, I, I started at the Viva Chevy. So I started selling Chevrolets, which was like the complete, like, upside of, of the ford customer right so um are, are are they that different the ford customer is different from the chevrolet customer and how are they different to you they are yes for in my personal experience it was always like a culture thing so all my uncles um they're in a, i come from a, a rural uh family so the, the farmers and ranchers so everyone owns chevrolet <laughs> so my dad my dad was the only one that was a ford uh, his, his favorite car and the first his first car was a, a mock okay a Mach Mustang. One, I think. Yes, a Mach One. So, uh, and then he had a Maverick, and that's who he taught me uh, to work on those engines. He, like, he, ever growing up since I was little, he would always talk about the two eighty nine engine and the three hundred single, uh, the six, the six cylinder in inline. So things like that. So when I got to work at the Chevy, I was kind of like I felt like betraying my my, <laughs> my right, family, right? Like my dad. Your roots. <laughs> and, and 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 I would experience that. I'd be like, oh no, I'm not interested. I'm only looking for a Silverado. And I would be like, oh well. Okay. And yeah, we, we find that it's like a culture thing because a yeah. lot of kids g grow up only working and only driving Camaros. They'll never drive a Charger. They'll never drive a Mustang. Mm -hmm. And it, it's kind of like your DNA almost. So it just, <laughs> it just depends on, on who your grandfather and uh, like what he drove and what they believed. So yeah, we would, we find that even to this day, uh, customers are like, nope, Mopar only. Yeah. So, and that's it. You know what, what once you br bring up the, the Mach-E, the mock. Yes, Mach, Mach, uh, one. Must, Mach 1. My mother had a red Mach 1. And it was, back. oh my gosh, and you know, she shouldn't have, she shouldn't have had that car. Anyway, but it was, uh, it didn't have power steering. And I remember having to help her when she wanted to parallel yeah. park. <laughs> it was just, you know, that you, 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 you jog that into my memory. So that, that's pretty yes. cool. You know, we all have stories uh, dealing with, with our cars. I remember I had my first, one of my cars stolen. It was terrible when you walk out and your car is gone or, or you know, you, you get your, you, you have your first kiss or you're, or, or you're on your way to the hospital to have a baby. We all have stories to share about how transportation got us to where we needed to be to the next level. Right. Yes. I can't imagine working in anything outside of the auto industry. Just like how you mentioned, uh, I'm one of those, uh, one of those people that, that my car is like part of me, like it, it hurts to, to some, like somebody, I go to the store and somebody hits my door and there's a door ding. It's like, oh, because it's like it's all, I know it's a it, it's a, you know, a, a tangible thing that could be replaced. But it's like it's almost but it's like not the same. It's, it's it's something that's mine. You know, it's like it's my personal. It's like my, you know, my jacket, my favorite pen. And you better not mess it up. And if you you better not ding my door when I park real close to you. Yes. Yeah, so, are, so, are, are you one of those guys that parks at the very end of the mall so they won't hit your car? No, not at the very end, but closer to the, <laughs> not in the front, most definitely. Not in the front, no, yeah, because no. everybody's in a hurry and they open the door and then they slam it into yours. And yeah, that's really upsetting. That's yes, really upsetting. But uh, if if I have one of those little dings in my car, you can also fix that in, yes. at, at Viva Dodge. Tell me about that. That's a painless dent repair. Uh, we have uh, people that work for us and also people in-house that could do that for us. Uh, it's part of the one of the services that we sell with uh, all the new and used vehicles. Mm -hmm. uh, so there there is a protection for that too. So anytime you buy a vehicle uh, from us, you, you're offered these different packages, um, and depending on what the customer needs and wants, and we, we could uh, we could facilitate those those services for them. It's it's important to have uh, to have those services available to you. You yes. know, a lot of people go and take their cars to to one of those other places where they change your oil, but it's important to uh, go back to your dealership so they can fix your oil, your oil, do your oil change, and do all those things. That's very important. Yes, yeah, so now more than ever, um, the history be, uh, behind. Every service, every every uh, product, every item, any 
anything that needs to be repaired that has been repaired on the vehicle it's just like like us uh, you, you move cities and you want to get your medical records mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. kind of like the same thing now um okay. the history of uh, how often what did they do to your vehicle it affects the value it, it's going to yes. affect the warranty um now i see it uh, I'm, I'm very involved in the service department and i see that like oh we have a customer that you know it's three years later this is the first time we see him and anytime we want to ask for help from the from the manufacturer uh to what we call a goodwill warranty once mm -hmm. they're out of warranty uh, they take all these things into consideration so it's not just like oh i'm under warranty they always want to see how often what you did and even when i worked at a kia store um they, they have a like an extended warranty uh extensive warranty i'm sorry uh like a, a 10 year hundred thousand miles mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. but but there is a uh, exceptions for that so if they had abuse or they call it driver negligence um they, they they do void those warranties so the history of the services everything that we do follows the the vin number in this case the vin number and, yeah. the, and the client wow yes. okay so you told us a little you told me a little bit about about your background and your, and your love of cars and stuff but uh yes uh, so you are you born and raised here no grew uh, up here I, I grew up born and raised in mexico uh, okay. we came over when Hablas i was español perfectamente. 100%. <laughs> claro. um, so we came over when i was in uh, about eight years old um, i started school here in el paso uh, in the third grade at macarthur middle um, we grew up right there by Cielo Vista, mm -hmm. the area, and um, I so went to. So you went to Burgess. No, I went to Cathedral. Okay, okay. I'm a Burgess. I'm a Burgess Mustang. Uh, I, but I didn't go to MacArthur. No, <laughs> so we went to MacArthur. My sister did go to Burgess. Graduated from Burgess. Um, I went to Eastwood for a year, and then um, my sisters and my mom they shh, you're going to cathedral, you're going to cathedral. <laughs> Portate bien. Yes. <laughs> you know you know it, it's important for uh people to be here and be invested in our community you know a lot of people uh when they get a job or they go out of town to school they they go away and they go and work but it's also important to be invested in your community because nobody knows your community better than you when you've been you know you're born and raised here yes and, and i could speak on that i i uh, you know being a uh, rebellious at <laughs> Right after high school, I always thought like, oh, I need to get away. El Paso is like super small. There's no opportunities. And then I did. I, I went to school at Southwest Texas State in San Marcos. And uh, it wasn't a comfortable feeling, feeling um, like the outsider. You know, you're a minority there. And the culture, the, even the way you speak, there's, n there's no connection to where you grow up. It's just so different. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a culture shock and, and it wasn't comfortable. A lot of people, you know, it doesn't phase them to me on a personal level. It did, uh, made me make some wrong decisions. And, uh, coming back, you know, years later, the, I settled, settled here in El Paso, made my life here. I have my kids here and, and it's, um, I'm grateful for that. How long have you been with Viva? Since 2013. Okay. So you're invested in this community as well, a uh, job yes. opportunities and you've been able to grow, uh, alongside a lot of other of your coworkers as well, because Viva yes. provides some opportunity for growth. Most definitely. Um, um, I started selling cars, um, Walked into the Viva Chevy store in Montana, and uh, we got hired, and I was blessed. Uh, had a great team. Uh, a lot of my coworkers that from that store are now uh, general managers at uh, the other stores. Uh, Omar Ramirez, uh, Jesus Alderete, he's a general, general manager of Viva Chevy. Uh, Rogelio, he's a general manager of Viva Kia. And a few other uh, guys that we work, um, Walter Campa, he's uh, the newest, uh, youngest general manager at, at Viva Mitsubishi. And uh, a few other, uh, you know, coworkers that, that were still friends, uh, very close, they move on to different auto groups, but but in, in uh, higher positions, you know, finance directors and, and things like that. So, yes, it, it, it was most definitely a, a huge opportunity to springboard. I uh, would have never thought that my career would have would have been in, in, a, in a dealership. Uh, it, I just kind of fell in. It was kind of like custom made career for me on a right. personal level. I love cars. You know, uh, when I was in college, I had a detail shop, so I had a, like a a very very small mom and pop operation uh, we did like just my like oil changes and things like that so i've always been involved in cars uh, even since i was little but i remember my the neighbor that my parents still have across the street he used to make fun of me because i used to wash my car like once or twice a week you want to go wash my car my car's pretty dirty <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, and that's how i learned to it to you know make the paint the beautiful. detail yes. and all that stuff yeah he used to tell me Te lo vas a acabar. <laughs> <laughs> de tanto que lo lavas. Sí, and, and then I mean they're they're all retired and now every time I visit them, te lo vas a acabar. <laughs> <laughs> you made that connection. Isn't that yes. something? Yeah. 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 So my son goes to uh, uh, St. Rayfield's, which is right next to my parents' mm -hmm, house. Mm -hmm. 
So I drive every, and he's always drinking his coffee outside his house. So he's like, dun, dun. yes, yeah, yeah, so you, you, connection is so important, and, and it, connection especially is important in sales. Yes, most definitely. And and as a as a sales uh, as a general manager of uh, Viva Dodge, uh, you probably have a lot of challenges. What are some of the biggest challenges for you? Um, staffing, um, taking care of customers, taking care of employees, um, just taking care of uh, problems, you know, on either on the customer side or employees and just, just trying to meet their, their needs uh, every time, every day. Um, you know, there's different challenges that either a coworker has. Uh, you, you mentioned staffing right now. Yes. It's pretty hard to fill jobs. Uh, why is that? And you're always, so it's opening up. We know the COVID. So uh, we, we have the mask mandate and we tried, we tried speaking uh, with, with the masks and we were just not able to do that. And that's why we, yes. we had to take them off and we are social distancing. Uh, yes, stay away, stay away. <laughs> but um, it's, it's important to do that too. But um, a lot of things change because of COVID. Now we're, we're, we have to, to, to step back a little bit, but uh, people are still looking for jobs and need jobs, but not filling them. We, it's a we, big challenge for you. Yes, we have uh, work available. Uh, we definitely need employees. Uh, we're always looking for uh, for talent. We're always looking for hard work, dedication. Um, if you're looking for a career, uh, any of the Viva stores, it doesn't have to be Viva Dodge, any of the Viva stores will give you that opportunity. All we ask for is honesty, integrity, and uh, hard, you know, ethic. Uh, work ethic absolutely yes. um um i was i was talking to my my ex boss from from channel 7 the other day and yes everybody every industry is having trouble filling jobs but he was also telling me because i never imagined myself doing anything like this right but uh but i've been here about for for about 4 months and and really enjoying it but uh tv is very similar to the automotive industry because it's excitement every single day you yes, know, every, it, it, everything there's so much to learn in the automotive industry it's chaotic i i well, growing up, since I was like 15 years old, I started working uh, at Tila Vista Golf Course. Um, my One of my hobbies that I don't get to do is uh, play golf. And um, I started working in the restaurant business there, um, uh, being a cook, being a, a bartender and everything like that. And it's very similar to working in the restaurants and, and the bars. And it's just always chaotic. There's a lot of people. There's like, you know a lot of things going on at the same time. So yes, it's it's very similar. The chaotic. I'm sure the news is the same thing because yeah, you're waiting is. for that one thing to happen and like, okay, go go go, go yeah. give me this. It's all exciting. And yes. it, it, it's all excitement, and that's what keeps us going, and that's what drives us to continue doing the things we do mm -hmm. in any job that we that we have. Once again, uh, Manny, thank you for for coming by, and and just a, a reminder to everyone uh, listening today what you have available right now at, at Viva Dodge since you got a big big uh, influx and. In, of, of new vehicles. Yes, if you're looking for a 3500 diesel gas, uh, 2500s, 1500s, cars, SUV, you name it, we have it. It, it does it, any price point, anything that you're looking for, we have. It doesn't have to be new. We have also used vehicles, starting at you know anywhere from like five to six thousand dollars, all the way up to uh, over two hundred hundred thousand dollars. Just depending on your needs, we have them. We have the full luxuries coming in the, the wagoneer and the grand wagoneer mm -hmm. um it's going to be available on monday this monday if you're willing and if you can make a visit to their store um, it's just going to be available for viewing and for training purposes mm -hmm. on monday the the grand wagoneer uh we're going to be blessed to be one of the dealerships that, that has it for for staff training but mm -hmm. it's also available for for customers so you can go touch it and see the paint yes and, and, it, and look at the inside we only see videos and like <laughs> you know like youtube videos and everybody talking about it but you know we're like excited because it's the first uh big full-size suv uh that that chrysler has made in a very long time but you can't sell it yet but you can go look at it so there's some on the way already um okay. there's a about like 20 on order already okay um so Tahoe, watch out. I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you'd like to add, Manny? No, just thank you for this opportunity. Um, we always uh, want our community to to know what we have. Um, that's our, our biggest hurdle, always to to have the product and, and let the public know that it's it's here, it's available. We're willing to to work a deal. Uh, you know, our, our prices are very, very competitive, not the best in the area. So if you're looking for a vehicle, go to our website. My name is Manny Beltran. Uh, if you can't speak English, that's okay. Hablo español. Aquí estamos para ayudarles. Um, and that's kind of my motto. I'm, we're here to serve. Um, anything that we can do, we're, we're always there. 
Thank you so much. And uh, hopefully we can sell all those 400 vehicles yes. real soon and get some more on the yes, way. Yes, that's right. Okay. <laughs> got to get rid of them. <laughs> absolutely. Thanks for coming by. Thank you so much. Have a great day. It's automotive news you can use. We'd like to hear what you think about our Viva Style podcast. Send in your questions and suggestions to vivaautogroup.com. Be engaged, invested, and entertained with meaningful conversation every week on Viva Style.